Welcome back. I don't know. I think I mentioned it before. I like when games have dynamic music like this. Like how... Like how the music kind of transitions. Yeah, it transitions pretty smoothly between menu parts right there. But one thing that only just now occurred to me is I wish that when you had a theme... I realize it's the eating area that's getting themed, but I wish if you applied a full theme to the restaurant that it would actually apply to the cooking area as well. That would make it feel a little bit more special. None of these things can be combined. It is nothing. You can have that to yourself. I think my workers need me. You almost had it. Let me, let me. So we know some of the mini games. In fact, a lot of the mini games. I don't feel like there's much correlation between the difficulty of a mini game and when you actually first encounter it. Is this mayo or something? I guess. I guess there's no reason you couldn't put that on a sub. In fact, I've seen mayo on subs before. Uh. Darn it. I tend to just mess up one. Patrick is really enjoying seeing this banana sliced. That didn't look like much of a banana, I don't feel like from the little preview I got there. I actually clicked on it just because I was curious what it was he was slicing. Uh oh. Looks like my station's in trouble. Let me help you out. Beautiful. Actually I should be doing this because I've got a, a training bonus on this. Oh. Now that's how it's done. There you go. Sandy, I'm sending in the troops. Hold on, first. Here, let me help. Why all the stacking? That's an easy one. These orders tend not to even make much sense on a sandwich in the first place. Help is on the way. Why couldn't they just move SpongeBob's hand slightly further to the left in that last one? Ah. Ah. Stay still. Buck me. There was the, there's one with reduced quality, so we can at least do something about that. I don't remember precisely what something being deluxe does. Is it just that? So its quality was full already. Does it get a quality bonus then? I'm bo I believe it's price increases for one, but I guess it also gets a quality increase, which means that me combining it, combining the orders actually did not result in any loss of quality. Which is interesting. I hate how it keeps taking stuff out of my hand. I swear, if it's another thing to stack. That little UI bug where it says that you've lost quality when you haven't is really annoying, actually. Because misinforming the player is actually a pretty big deal. So I know I've at least been saying that I mean, acting like 
the plankton icon means getting more experience on something. I'm not sure also what I mean, but I recall that whenever I put that icon that we just saw when I started this, this train of thought, the yellow icon that was on the food that I was working with right then, I'm pretty sure that when I put that icon on something that it then said experience up, so I might be misremembering what some of these things are. It's kind of weird that I hear people talking when I'm out there, but not when I'm here. You know, here and there are the same physical location. I guess what if it's kind of in the zone and just blocks out everything else? They're not pretty good at the coding stuff. Sound. Are gunshots normal to hear in the in the kitchen? Oh, well, I still can. I still maintain that bandana does not look like a banana. Before you start cutting it yourself. It's a really trivial mini game. This one, though, some of them are just trivially easy. Some of them are not. This one might be trivially easy if... Wonderful. If I didn't have troubles with spinning things. It's also just uncomfortable even when I can do it well. And I have just kind of a... A negative association with it now too. From other mini games I've done. Oh, that's the last of it. Get this along there. Finally, without the cursor jumping around. Mm -hmm. And you guys can do your own thing. I don't want to do either of those. And garnish. They're right here in the same place. Convenient. And I'll just let you... Eh, I guess I might as well do it myself just for the experience. Curious what this game is like on hard. This is one of those games where you have to make a... A choice on difficulty before you can actually start the game, and I don't think you can actually change the difficulty part way through. So, you have no basis for what difficulty you choose. But I've never made a not perfect dish. Now I'll raise the price. And also make it better. Dog. Finally, something to spend money on, I guess. But even then, I'm accumulating incredible amounts of this stuff. Grits. For a theme we still don't have. In fact, the all that I have now is for a theme I don't have. And it has whisking. Cool. Another thing. Actually, all I do have whisking right now, don't I? Oh, whoops. It's probably gonna. that refund my money? It did. It's kinda weird. I guess that's one way to see what the what change it produces if you if you make a deluxe version of something. You don't actually lose the money after you spend stuff. Still got that there, but I wish they would stop telling me about it. Okay. The next ship, then. Time to make the 
Oh, quality for all sorts of things. I'm not... I guess? I'm not sure that happened, actually. Why did that happen? I don't know what happened there. Sometimes you get a, a meal where every station just ramming needs your help all of a sudden. It's a little annoying because I like being able to just go and survey things after I finish a task. And getting immediately called to the next step of whatever process I was in is a little bit disruptive. Like this. Even if it's not a tough minigame. If it is a minigame I don't like, then even worse. But... but if that is what's happening right now, I have to whisk. Maybe, I, I feel like now if I just started, if I just forgot about whisking entirely and I had to do it again, I don't think I'd have an issue with it actually. So I'm pretty consistent at doing it well now. I feel like everything on that last, well not everything necessarily, but most things on that last step are pretty progressive. I'll raise the quality on this one if I can. Thankfully it's not a problem if you overshoot the cutting, you just need to not fall off the line. I do like though that you kind of get decisions to make about which games you do and whatnot, and the investment of ah, doing them for everyone else or not. Uh, to build up experience. Ah. Because since I don't like this minigame, I can let them do it themselves most of the time. Or I could just do it a lot and then never have to do it again because they learn how to do it themselves. So you can be hands off. But you doing it yourself has a risk versus reward aspect because you can make it better or you can make it worse. You do it yourself, darn it! I want to combine those if I could. Let my spatula guide you. I don't know if I could have though, since one of them already had a modification on them. I don't think you can combine orders that have modifiers on them. It's weird how slowly these come in though. It's weird that I, I maybe things get lit. Real different later in the game, but it feels kind of weird that I've been playing this game for so long and still think to myself, man, this game's a little slow. Look at the different Plankton Hatcher animations, like that one with all of its arms. Doing arm stuff. I, I don't think we actually do have any new orders. I think everything else is on route to, to the customer already. Just a lot of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's anything in particular that makes this character make faces from time to time. And Patrick presumably just responded to me getting a perk in there. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> His mouth looks pretty, pretty flat to me. I 
Yeah, it's weird that I had so much trouble with this game before and now just don't. At least I don't have to stack things. But it does start to feel like you're really managing things and that you're kind of overseeing things being done and you only step in, or at least depending on how you decide to play, only step in if it's necessary. Feel, it begins to feel more and more like you're actually managing the team. And then also things like deciding how to handle different orders and what risks to take with them and whatnot. I do like how this game evolves over time actually so far. Even if it's in fairly small ways. Anyways, next episode, another challenge. In this episode, furniture. Really? Why are you giving me this stuff? Give me the jelly stuff! Oh, whoops, wait, I don't want to do that. I, I will take the benefits of the... of the gross theme. I don't know why they decided to make this a theme, and I don't know why it makes the food better. I thought that I'd be the one that had the exact opposite effect. It would make our food worse quality. Which would be an interesting, uh... Interesting penalty to have, presumably in exchange for getting like really high everything else. I don't know. Hard mode basically. But anyways, everyone.